What is going on guys? This is Ben here. Today's video is going to be pretty awesome. We are going to be opening up a bunch of shop offers that we have on some of my accounts. And then along with that, as you guys know, there is the 2v2 challenge going on right now. My first one through it, I am 6-2 and two at the moment. Now, I know a lot of people aren't really happy that you're not able to pick your partner with this 2v2 challenge. It's currently not able to be picked anything else. Um, so, <laughs> there was a match that I lost. I forget what 2v2 it was. Um, I think it was this one. We were on, like, one of my teammates. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. His highest trophies is 2,000. So, I've had people that have complained about their, their teammates being, like, their highest trophies is, like, 1,000 or something. So, basically, you get matched up with whoever's in the challenge. It doesn't... I assume it maybe takes in consideration, like if you're high at level, um, they'll try and maybe match you with a lower level and then be to be on par with the team that you're going up against. I don't know, but sometimes it's really, really frustrating when you play with someone that you does not know how to play. But other than that, it's still a really cool challenge. Uh, I'm excited, gonna try and finish it. Hopefully I can get nine wins. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on this run through because I already have two losses, but. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. And then also open up some of these challenges. You can see I accidentally already opened up one of them. Uh, I have one on my one uh, Carla's account that I'll open up right now. And then also on my level one. And I have a really good offer on my newly level five account as well. So all those offers open. Hope you guys are excited. Let me know your thoughts on the 2v2 challenge. Would you like to be able to go into the challenge like with someone from your clan or one of your friends or something, not just a random person? You could still have the option to do a random person, but uh, yeah, sometimes it goes, it backfires. So I'm gonna try and get this focused here for you guys. Starting on Carla's account, I'll try and get as best focused as I can. I could do an innate screen recorder, but then it actually messes up my software for editing and it crashes all the time if I have too many files of different types. For recording so that's why we're just going this way i sorry if it's the, not the best but hey she's getting bats because carla actually did not get them earlier from the challenge but let me know like are you guys excited that if you weren't able to win the bats in the challenge and you have a good chance to maybe get a legendary from these giant chests so she has two left let's see if we can get a get a legendary we got five cards in this one no legendary just yet so we're gonna open a bunch of these and hopefully, so that was six of from hers, but hopefully we can make it a legendary. I mean, you guys know I open giant chests all the time. Well, not all the time, but I open them quite a bit. Uh, and the ratio for getting legendary is not very good. I'm gonna throw on the headset here. We're going up against with B-Rad. What up, B-Rad? Hopefully he's pretty solid player. Um, I, I wish you would be able to like at least know your opponent's normal, um, like maybe their trophy range before, because then it would give you a good idea. Oh, we got a P.E.K.K.A, dude. P.E.K.K.A's actually a good counter to all that. Or the, the Golem, at least. So I'm excited about that. I'm liking this. Uh, I'll probably, oh, he's got the Wizard, too. All right. Well, the Wizard's probably going to get obliterated by all of that stuff. Um, so we're, we, all, we all have really heavy battle decks, it seems. We're going to do not... We're just literally getting destroyed by those Barbarians. Sadly, I, 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 I didn't have enough elixir to use my fireball at like a properly good time. So this bandit's probably a little overkill to stop here, but we're going on a, ooh, another golem. They must both have golem battle deck. So uh, we're probably going to take their tower. They're probably going to take our tower, it seems as though, because uh, he got the mini pack actually. Nice. Do I dare go for it? No, we're going to... I'm glad I did not actually drop the graveyard. Um, Dude. Like, I have nothing to help you out, man. I'm really, really sorry. I need to cycle. So, we lost our tower. We traded towers. They're looking a little bit better than us because they have our left-hand side tower really, really weak. Hopefully, my tower actually takes care of that mega minion. What does this guy got? He's going to mirror that. Thank you, man. That helps out a lot. Oh, uh, we have the executioner there. Oof. 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 That executioner hurts. So keep in mind, this guy has the P.E.K.K.A. as well. Um, we get, we're gonna hit double elixir, and he's gonna do a big, amazing push. I'm, I'm faithful, faithful in that. There's a golem. We're gonna need to see that uh, the P.E.K.K.A. drop right now, man. Got the freeze on us. Oof. We're probably gonna get three crown, bro. I'm gonna hit the fireball here. Take care of majority of that stuff. This guy needs to drop his P.E.K.K.A, man! Not his mini P.E.K.K.A! His big P.E.K.K.A! Drop it! 
Come on, bro. Come on, be rad. There you go. Drop the big papa. Or, it's a girl, actually. The big girl. Okay. Alright, we got 20 seconds left. Uh, we can still turn this around. 15 seconds left now. Ah, uh, we're going for it. We need this damage. Come on. Not enough. So we lost our... It's Another thing is too, like, you have to be extremely lucky that your, your, like, your battle looks synergized as well. So that's like, I don't know, that's where I guess it kind of sucks if you can't go with your, like, a partner. So I don't even have gems right now. I thought I purchased gems already. Well, uh, we'll be purchasing the gems so I can play the challenge again. You'll see me restart it. I really want to get that nine wins magical chest, but let me know if you guys are able to get nine wins and what you guys think of the two v two for sure. It's, it's rough. If you guys don't, if you don't like synergize well, like I said, with your with your partner, or they maybe don't know how to play and they just kind of drop random stuff, kind of sucks. But hey, we're getting a lot of bats. So now I'll open up, finish opening up these, and then we'll uh, after I'll do another match of the two v two challenge. <laughs> Hopefully, we get a legendary. Maybe I'm gonna probably open up some super magicals too. So stick around. All right, we're back at it. We got a lot of gems. It is only 10 entries. So basically, if you get those 10 gems on your first run, you can enter again for free. So, I mean, you don't really lose anything. Uh, now we're gonna see if I can maybe get a legendary on this account, hoping for Night Witch. We got the bats. Let's see what we get. 230 bats, that's really, really good. You guys know I wanna max these bad boys out. They could be girls. These bad bats out very, very soon. And uh, honestly, on some of my accounts, it actually didn't get the offer. I only had this offer on my level one on this account. And then I have a really nice offer on my, like that newly level five account for getting into a new arena, which is a really good chest, which will open soon. Um, but I'm surprised that it's not on all of my accounts because like my level, maybe you have to be in, maybe, I, okay, never mind. I think I figured it out. Because what, what arena do the bats unlock at? Is it jungle arena? I think it's jungle, right? No? Frozen Peak? So you, maybe you had to be in Frozen Peak to get the offer. So if you guys don't have the bad offer, just try and push up to 2,300 trophies and then you'll get the offer. Um, I think that's what it is because that, that would make sense. So we already purchased all of those. So we've opened up 11 of those now, one of them off camera. Uh, and I'll open up a super magic for you guys. Let's see if we can get the Night Witch. I know I said I was gonna do a huge gem spree. Uh, that will be coming soon to test out to like if it's a better chance or a higher chance for me to get the Night Witch, now that I have all other legendaries, except for the Night Witch maxed out. And is, eh, hey, is that conclusive? I don't know, but we got the Night Witch on that chest there. We'll have to open some more. We need a bigger sample size. So in a video, in your sub box soon, will be a video of that. And then also, guys, I've been I've been going hard on my Benton 1 noob account. Um, I think I found a battle deck that'll actually, you guys know yesterday was really rough for me. Uh, I lost so many. But I, I'm really liking this battle deck and I'm back up in a decent trophy range. Uh, so I, I've, I'm really confident just maybe after the clan chest is done because a lot of people drop in trophies as you guys know. So I'm going up against like people with like level 12 elite barbarians and it's like it's so hard to deal with. So maybe after the clan chest is over, uh, it'll be a lot easier for me to push on the Benton 1, Gemmer 1 account, uh, the level 1. Uh, but it has, I'm leading my clan right now. I, I was going hard on that account and then also uh, this count is decent, but hey, we're gonna open four clan chests. I'll have Carla in the video. Um, so four, t yeah, last time was three. This time I have four, because I have my other account in here now. So we'll see if we can get a legendary. Um, so that, that'll probably be the video tomorrow, because it looks like we'll finish this probably today within the first day, which is really awesome. So I'm excited for that. And then we'll open up another super magical Defi. Does that mean battle? I don't even know what that screen actually normally is. Um, Let's see his battle deck. So we got a hog cycle battle deck for our teammate. But archer's coming. We'll just, we'll just be aggressive with him, why not? Like, why not? I got the arrows, bro. Got the hog getting in there. <laughs> Honestly, that push got so, uh, huh? Never mind. I was gonna say that push was a huge fail. But we got a lot of tower damage in there. But now we're both kind of low on elixir. Um, so I'll take that. It's gonna log. Okay. Mega Minion. Um, my battle deck, to be fair, isn't like. 
is very unique. So maybe I could make it more challenge friendly by adding in some bigger spells, uh, adding more like a log. But I have the arrows, so hopefully the barbarians stay within that fireball range. Nice. So got some value fireball there. Um, what are <laughs> these guys both got ice whizzes? Like, what is the what's their main substance of their push? I I, I don't know. Hopefully it's not like graveyard. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, it, looks like, it seems as though our teammate's fairly proficient. Uh, that's always a positive. You can typically tell if your teammate isn't super good like by the, the way they drop stuff. But this guy definitely seems like he knows how to play, which is really, really nice. Uh, I wonder if any of my uh, any of the people I played with probably thought I sucked or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so Bandit's doing a little bit. Th uh, dude, okay, they got the Hog Rider. Um... I don't know, do I, do I want to go in here? Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I, I've been just like, I, I haven't been able to... Basically we've been riding on his hog, like his hog rider as our main source of damage. Uh, this Lava Hound might potentially be overkill. Finally we're in double elixir so I can do something. Uh, and if you did end up winning this challenge guys, let me know of like, what was your battle deck that you went in with. That was probably very... Because I think it, the best way to go about it is have a battle deck that's very... I don't know the best way to say it. Like, it, that's very... It meshes well with a lot of different battle decks. So you want to have, like, a lot of cards that are decent. Um, that sync well with others. Um, I think that would be a key to success. And, uh... Okay, well... This Inferno Tower is doing a lot of work. Good thing this guy has some sort of tower. I typically don't run defensive buildings in my battle decks anymore. I, I don't know why. I just prefer not to I guess <laughs> I don't really have a good reason do you <laughs> some of you guys know what I mean I have no idea uh, this hog rider will not Let's watch like a rocket comes out dude I would cry please no rocket okay okay sometimes he's got lightning but good game dude well played well played I don't even know his name what's his name Arcel hashtag AL ATL is from Atlanta who knows so, got a victory there. Nice. We'll open up our another super magical. See if we can get a legendary at least. We got more bats. I didn't see how many bats we got. I went too fast. Are we going to get a Night Witch? Possibilities are high. Let's freaking go, dude. That's a good sample size enough. So, if I do a major super magical gem spree, leave a like if you guys want to see that. Uh, let's see if I can, like, majority of the time, get the Night Witch. I think that would be a really interesting thing to see. Uh, and then, obviously, we'll probably max out these bats soon, so. Alright, I'm gonna head on my other account. I already have it logged in. That's why I'll just go, like, bam. Log on to this one. Ooh, is he is level 5 now. Achievements. The achievements will get you, guys. I mean, most people want to level up. <laughs> Me, it's like... Uh, I had a friend in need, I think, achievement, and I freaking unlocked it. Where are the achievements? Yeah, I claimed it. Where is the reward? Friend in need, yeah, I claimed it, and it gave me enough XP, and it pushed me over to level 5. <laughs> so, oops, my mistake. But yeah, I pushed this up to Royal Arena, and now we have a another awesome, awesome offer for Super Magical. Okay, good. Didn't make me put in my password. Can't you guys, I don't, ooh, you see that? We unlocked those elite barbarians. I could be one of those MF people, you know? Sadly, no legendary. I was really hoping I would've got a legendary off of this one uh, for the fact that I'm just in Royal Arena now and I can unlock Electric Wizard or that, that, that princess. But for this account, guys, I know I explained it like in almost every level one or video where I talk about my accounts. This one, eventually I'm gonna upgrade like hardcore upgrade just upgrade anything and try and get this to 4,000 so I can have another uh, what is the draft chest is it 4,000 or 4,300 I think it's 4,000 yeah once I get it if I can get it to 4,000 get a draft chest so I can open up two on season's end and then also if I get to that legendary arena I get that uh, ultimate champion draft chest offer as well so I think that'd be cool for the content so yeah this I'll do make a video soon on this one being upgraded I'm not doing a whole lot on it, on it right now. It's just, I, I have a lot of gemming videos that I don't want to all blow it all in like one day because gemming videos are expensive. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head on to level one and open up the rest of the offers. All right, so here we go. 
We're just gonna continue on opening some chests. I mean, we got our free chest. See if we get anything. Um, I will say this to you guys. If I feel as if I ever sound like my voice is giving out uh, over the next few days, it's because I'm probably have a little bit of a sore throat. Do like I'm starting to feel it. Like I might be getting like a little bit of a cold or something. So I'm probably gonna take some medicine. But if I ever just I'm just saying that now. I'll probably mention that in that video too. But I'm I'm definitely feeling it in my in my my throat, dude. Like sore throat or something's coming. Uh, that's kind of cool too. That as a level one, I can unlock the bats. Like I'm not able to do the challenge because tournaments unlock at level eight, so I had no chance to unlock the bats uh, early. And then this now this actually gave me the chance to unlock or guarantees me to unlock them using some gems so level one with bats sadly i'm not really gonna be able to use them until i decide to upgrade this account or whatever but i, I know i was making it seem like i was just gonna i was gonna give up on the push of 3000 yesterday yesterday was just a bad day man when you lose like four or five matches in a row it gets to you but today i literally grinded as you guys saw by my trophy count or chest count from uh from earlier so what is this 6 12 18 so we've opened up 18 offers today because we had six from carla's account the five from my main account and then that one from the level five and then six from this one so 18 offers man and no legendaries like come on offer done you didn't give me a legendary clash royale really out of all of those giant chests even this one so highly recommend if don't if if you're gonna purchase this offer do it for the bats because you want the bats you want to upgrade the bats don't do it if you want legendaries <laughs> you guys can see it firsthand the legendaries are not very uh they don't come in uh i don't know they're not very common so it is nice that we have our 2v2 button back again for 31 days thank you clash Royale, because that's really really nice at being able to advance in your chest cycle but we're not gonna be doing that right now. I, I do that a lot. Um, I'll be doing that a lot to advance my chest cycle on my main account or whatever. Keep in mind, the season end is coming very, very soon as well. So, I don't know. I'm, I might upgrade my level five account that you just saw and do that video tomorrow. I don't know. I, 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 it's very up in the air. What would you guys like to see? Leave in the comments below. The opening all of the clan chests tomorrow or would you like to see that on Sunday? and or upgrading that level five account and just hardcore grinding the ladder to get to that 4,000 to see if I can get that draft chest. I might, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm unsure yet. So we are going up against the Leap Barbarians. At least they're not a level 11. Oh, Ooh, he's quick on that zap from them freaking, those bats, man. Well, hopefully I don't lose right off the start. Uh, the the good counters that I have for Elite Barbarians right off the bat are the Night Witch and the Lumberjack. Sadly, the Lumberjack was at the bottom of, bottom of my battle deck, but we'll try and predict his. There we go. We predicted it right. Night Witch, Ice Wizard, still gonna get some damage done in there. Uh, I'm scared of this Minion Horde, dude. Like, that's the hardest card for me to like. I tried running the Executioner in the battle deck as well. A level one Executioner is just not good. It it literally is not worth it. It's just a five Elixir card and it doesn't help me cycle. So, this match isn't looking too good. We could still make an epic comeback. It doesn't look like he has some a lot of a tower damage. He's a little bit annoying on the emotes. If you ever face me, if you guys ever face me, typically I don't really, I don't know, I, I, I like, I won't emote. Unless I rage quit, and I'll just be like... Or unless they like laugh at me a bunch, then I'll just be like... I'll start laughing at them, I'll be like, really? Bro, you got 10 levels on me, man, and you beat me. Congrats. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here we got a... We'll, we'll stop these good, I think. Got our bandit ready. Nice, and this bandit's gonna take care of him. Sweet. So, oh, dude, I don't have anything... Stupid little, stupid little miner. Ah. He doesn't have, he has the zap, so he could just zap me to death. I'm really, I'm just basically gonna try and get a tower here. Tornado these over here, get out of here. I wanna try and get a tower. This guy's got complete control on me. There's, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit difficult for me, guys. <laughs> um, I'm not giving it to you easy, bro. 
keeps throwing down that miner in the same spot though. You know what would be just the epicest of epic thing is like get a three crown right now. But I have to worry about the I thought, oh, there's no not enough time. I mean hey, it was close. So sadly we got the loss. There's just that opening push by him. Really, really was rough. And I I didn't I don't think I didn't really have the counter to it, so it's a little bit on it's a little bit unfortunate. I'm gonna cry! God, you guys have not seen me win a 2v2 match. Or not 2v2 match. Oof. Oof. Boots. You're killing me. I've only ever faced, I think, two other level 11s. And they were both losses. So this guy, yeah, this guy's for sure got the 10 levels on me. Oof. Oof. Level 11 barbarians. Okay. Guys, wish me luck. He activated my King Tower. Honestly, that would normally punish a player really hardcore for doing that. But it doesn't even matter on this account because my towers don't do anything anyways. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Come on, Bandit. Take it out. Hopefully the Inferno Dragon wins that trade. It did. It did. The Inferno Dragon didn't beat that. Okay. Um. Let's see what else he got. Hopefully he doesn't have... Oh, he's got the Elite Barbarians. And they're level 11. Okay. We, can, we countered them. Sadly, all of our bats are gone now. Uh, let's just hope and pray this guy doesn't have minion horde. More often than not, he will. Okay, he's got regular minions. Those are a little bit easier to deal with, but still a pain in the butt. Um... Dude. My tornado wouldn't even really affect these minions, so I have to drop the princess, but it'll probably get fireballed. Hmm. Okay, at least we got the Inferno Tower out of the way. I think I think this guy might have dropped in trophies for the clan chest. I think. I hope. I mean, if you're a level 11 and you're... <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a viewer. <laughs> And you're, you're a level 11 struggling to get out of 3,000 trophies, but if you have level 11 status, I personally believe you should be able to at least get, like, above 3,000. Like, it should be more than doable. So I I'm just have to hold on to the... Just hold on to the belief that this guy dropped trophies. At least I hope so. Otherwise, that would be kind of sad. But let's see if we can take a tower. We got our bad Inferno Tower drop. I'll say that. We did take a tower. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. I wasn't expecting to win, like, take a tower. Let alone even make this close. So we're probably gonna get Leap Barbarian, so I'm gonna throw it on the Night Witch. Called it. Right. So we'll throw it on the Lumberjack as well. Oh, uh, well, this graveyard. I mean, I'll throw it on my Bandit up here, and if he doesn't do anything to it, it's gonna kill him. Oh my god, we're so close! Come on, princess, shoot the tower! One more throw! Yes, dude! <laughs> okay, I haven't won on camera for you guys in five or four straight... I think it's five or six matches on this account. But the one victory that we got for you to see is a good one. Our first ever level 11 victory. I want to see if this guy dropped trophies. If not... I feel kind of bad. He's got 4,000 wins. That's more than me. On my main account, how many wins do I have? I mean, maybe just Clash Royale. <laughs> so, so this is kind of bad to say. It's kind of mean to say. This is just as a joke. I'm not saying it truly, but... Um, if you get 4,000 wins in the level 11... Yeah, I have 3,000 wins. Yes, I spent some money on the game, obviously. But I feel as though it, um, I don't know, I'm kind of lost for words there. Am I, am I completely wrong to say this? If you're level 11, you got some level 2, mi like, minor, and you have level 11 elite barbarians. Level 11 cards. Level 11 commons, I mean. I think 
getting out of 3,000 trophies might be doable. So that's why I'm kind of saying like, <laughs> am I being too harsh? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God. Okay, well we beat the level 11. We don't want to sound too cocky. We'll get into one more match. See what can happen. I don't know. Maybe maybe Clash Royale is uh, it's not his not their game. It could be a, it could be a girl. It could be a guy. Who knows? It's not their game. I guess this is the proper oh barbarian hut. Honestly, I think this is. I'm being honest. This is like probably the first time I have faced a barbarian hut in any sort of trophy range around here. I'm playing a spawner battle deck. Really? Okay, well hopefully we take the tower with enough skeletons there. Uh, it's gonna be close. I think we got it. Okay, good. But now I got two sides to worry about. Some barbarians on each. Um. Okay, the princess is coming in very, 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 very clutch here. At first I thought that was... I forgot the electric wizard has a zap animation. I was like, did he just miss a zap? <laughs> no, Ben. <laughs> Uh, at least we took his tower off the start. Uh, we took a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy, but I really need that princess to shoot over at that stuff. Like, right now. Oh my god, we're gonna lose our tower. Are we gonna lose this match right off the start? Okay, we stop that push. He's going for it. And he probably, that wizard dude is doing like 300 a shot. Yeah. Man, I don't know what to say on that one. Like, at least we got a tower. <laughs> oh. Let's check him out. Okay, he got the 3,000 trophies at least. Um, Alright. So, two losses. At least I beat the level 11. Sadly, no epic chest le or giant chest legendaries. We did pulse two night witches, so that's nice. But... Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I guess, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see first. Do you want to see the me upgrading my level 5 account a bunch or a Night Witch gemming spree to test if we're going to get majority of Night Witches? So, on that, if you guys enjoyed it, I do still need to push. Uh, there's how many days left in the season? Two days. So, I still need to push on my main account to try and get to... Um, there is no... There's not even an ultimate champion yet, dude. Like there are a lot of people in Clash Royale are not pushing this season as opposed to last season like you can see the difference in the trophies uh, So I, it's gonna be extremely difficult to get grand champion again um, But I'll try my best to get champion at least so Those are the videos you might see over the next few days, but I hope you guys enjoyed it Make sure you did and don't subscribe for more Clash Royale videos, and I'll see you guys later